Space to Capsule 12. Capsule 12, come in. You there, Stan? I'm sorry. Who is this? Ah, there he is. Why, if I'd known the big man himself was running my orientation, I'd have put a tie on. Ah, oh, there's gratitude for you. The finest in Unitrench deep sea fashion, and he talks about dressing up. How you doing, old man? <sighs> old indeed, but fine. Glad to have you back. Yeah, well, you're probably the only one. Let's just get this suit calibrated, okay? Drowning on my first day would be embarrassing. I mean, the headlines alone. Oxygen and seals were signed off by the prep team. Well, great. My compliments to the tailor. Not just any suit, Dad. Packed to the gills with cutting-edge technology. Uh-huh. Just means there's more that can go wrong. Forget about it, you'll be fine. Last thing, helmet mic check. Check, check. This thing on. That'll do it. So how about it, lad? Ready to head back into the blue? <sighs> you have no idea. Okay. All right. Just like in training. Nice and easy. That's the spirit. Don't forget, keep an eye on your oxygen. Try not to overextend the seals. All right, the mini sub should be all set up by now. Should be a big door right in front of you. Head through there. That's the garage bunker. Easy as falling off a log. Well, hello there, lads. <laughs> it's been a while. Looks like a lift. Ah, weighs a ton. out there. Well, that's not right. Looks like something tripped up the fuses. Been a while since anyone's been down there. Hang on a moment, I've got maintenance on the other line. There, lad. You're going to need to power up the place manually, so head on through to the generator room. Fairly sure I didn't tick engineer on my application form. Lucky for you. Unitrench had the lowest common denominator in mind when designing our facilities. There's a couple of jennies in here with big old startup levers. Find, pull, voila, instant power. Whatever. But if this goes wrong, I'm not paying for it.
big is this place? Big? It's the hub for a load of the systems in these parts. The garage itself is another part of the facility. See that door beneath the fans? I'm gonna have to swim to it. You're going to have to swim to it. Uh... How much air does this suit have again? Okay. All right. We're doing this. Remember, you can adjust your depth as well as your direction. That suit's pretty hardy, so don't worry about poking any holes in it. Believe me, the Pentelnex put it through more stress than you ever will. Okay, um... Another door. Hang on there a moment. Time for what the boys in HR call a learning opportunity. If you're sure. Have a look over there. Oh, uh, yeah. Oxygen sticks. Two steps ahead, as usual. I forgot they integrated them into the training. Pretty impressive stuff, Tim. In suit oxygen resupply. Don't go leaving that empty case just lying around, though. Unit Trench are committed to a minimum impact operation. Also, you never know, might come in handy. the crushing anxiety, old man. I'm joking. She's a solid piece of kid. Now you're a fully qualified unit trench service diver, we spared no expense. Well, we thought she might come in handy. We'll have to decouple those clamps first, obviously. Couple the buttons on each side there. You know the drill. still burns. insurance premium if you smack yourself into something. Green across the board. Looks like we're good. But all right. Door should have unlocked. Off you go. Doors working as intended, I see. The wonders of automation. I was kind of expecting a big reveal there, Tim. It's all about timing, dear boy. You'll see. Lots of life. Even down here. Now, let's get you out of this cave and we'll see about getting you to your new home. 
There she is. Told you it was about the timing. She can be a beauty, that's for sure. All right, quite enough of that. Off you go. You need to reach the life module. That's the tub you'll be calling home for the next few weeks. You can use the sonar system to highlight your position. Should make getting lost a little harder. I see it. Heading there now. Must be the life module. <laughs> Looks like a lighthouse. No, on the bottom of the ocean floor. Quite the view. See the docking be there? Moon will fit snug as a bug. Procedure can be a bit fiddly though, so just uh, take it slow. Pay no mind to the drone there, it's assigned to the area. Our jobs and so on. But uh, try not to run into it. Docking complete. Heading inside. Roger that. <sighs> I'm in the airlock. Excellent. Get that suit off and call me on the radio when you're inside. Just gonna... Sit for a second. It's, uh... This is all... Hey. Take your time. Been a big day. Yeah. Thanks, Tim. No worries. See you inside. Not as bad as I expected. It's actually okay. Cozy. Does um, uh... is this right? Hey Tim. Finally. Okay. Now the fun part. Press that button over there on the panel. Is that the light switch? You'll see. User identified. Stanley Moray, level three worker. Welcome aboard. Stan, meet Mercury, the newest addition to the Unitrench family. Ah, a talking computer. Merck's a glorified calculator, but it'll help with the admin and the like. Just don't expect any debates on the meaning of existence or anything. Hmm, pretty swish. You're worth it, Stan. Only the best for Unitrench employees. Why do I think you're joking? I'm offended, lad. Anyway, now you two are acquainted, you should have access to all the rooms. All rooms now unlocked. I'll give you a moment to familiarize yourself with all the luxurious facilities at your beck and call. You're welcome, by the way. I'd start with the storage room. Make sure your stuff arrived in one piece. Looks like the storage room. All right. Emma would love some shots of the wildlife down here. Uh, is this thing on? Think everything made it down okay? Thank God. If something had happened to these. Well. Should hang them up at some point. Without drilling any holes. <laughs> Assuming you've no complaints, 
since the rest of the day is your own. Make yourself at home, get some rest. Tomorrow we get to work. Nighty night. Not Tim. I should probably check in. Seems simple enough. Hmm. Not bad, considering what I went through. Seems kind of redundant, given, you know, bottom of the ocean and all. Rather exposed. Good job I'm alone. Oh. Yeah, I can make this work. Oh, hey, a computer. They really did push the boat out. Tim said I can call Emma from here. <sighs> hmm, uh, a little more complicated than a telephone, but I think we're good to go. Hi, this is Emma. I'm not here at the moment, obviously, so do the thing after the thing. Lost. Oh. Hi, Emma. It's Stan. I mean, it's it, it's me. Hi. I uh, I made it down okay. Uh, I know I didn't. Uh, what we said before I left. You you said you needed space, right? And I needed space. So so yeah, this is space. Uh, just that Tim set me up with a phone. Obviously, uh, it's the number I gave you. He said the, the line should be fixed by now, but yeah, it's in a trench, so who knows? I miss us. I miss. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna let you go. Call me. Okay. Um, <clears throat> you should. You should get to bed. Day tomorrow, let's get some shut eye. This isn't right. This isn't. Why is this here? Where did this come from? <laughs> 